it's a very simple device. So it's a, a, just a bench on legs. And this one is maybe knee high to me. Uh, here at the head is a block that's tended all the way through the bench and secured below with a wedge. And then uh, straddling that block is the work surface and it is just notched there and engages a hole and a pin that runs all the way through the whole thing. So that leaves that work surface to hinge there. And these two uprights swing on a wooden pin. This is the head of it. It's maybe a three-quarter inch diameter piece. I turned on the lathe and then it goes through the uprights and the bench and is secured with a, just a little pin over there. The notion is it's to uh, trap the piece sitting on this piece with its and the end of it tucked under that one and then you can lever uh, the handle of the fro but you slide it over here to pinch it you might need to get it lower so put it over here so you can get some leverage on it but if I take it like this and draw it both towards me and diagonally like that then I'm using the whole width of the blade and it's a uh, a more awkward motion than just pulling it straight to you, but it's uh, more effective, gets you a better cut. I don't need it dead straight, I want it to just follow the plane of the tree. And so I'm setting that knife in there and feeling that there's a little, it's catching into that little bit, and just take that off like that. Now I'm aiming for that notch. So I've got my radial side, my growth ring or tangential side, and then I have plenty of width down there, and even enough down here. So I'll take a little of this off. This is the second radial face. At this point, I'm still staying away from the end of the mortise uh, because as you lever against that end, you crush those fibers. I added something. I put a hole in the side of my bench there that's an inch deep, which is what we're after, an inch long mortise, an inch long joint, a tenon and a mortise. And uh, that gives you an idea of uh, how much further I have to go. I need to make this tenon, that whole length, that thickness there. So I'm burnished right to here. So I'm going to shave a little more back here. the uh, front post and when you're putting this post on make sure the top is up near the top. I've seen them go on the wrong way. I've probably put them on the wrong way. And, uh, you don't want to do too much of that. Now this is where the interlocking joint comes into play. I'm still of course boring on that center line, but instead of hitting this tangent, I'm going to creep just north of it. It's 
So now you need to keep your wits about you and just start one section. chair uh, on it backwards and slide the slat into one post push on the middle and bend it oh that's hot and then tweak it this way and ow that's hot <laughs> and sometimes what I find I need to do is uh, encourage it to go into its mortises by squeezing the posts a little and pushing on my knee like that. It does look like two different colors of bark, which wouldn't be bad. And they'll change a lot, the color will change a lot as it dries and then as you use it. So here I'll fish that through with that stick. Well, I've got the chair done and just dressing up some posts for another one later. I've been thinking as I uh, work on this project, both the doing it and working on the videos about Alexander and our long association. Early on, Drew Langsner invited J.A. to teach a class at his then pretty new school, Country Workshops. And that was in 1979, Alexander first taught there. And uh, throughout the 80s into the 90s, she taught there, and then later taught in her home in Baltimore. And that, I think, really is the thing that, that clicked with her the most, was essentially turning people on, getting people interested in working these simple tools, basic uh, techniques, but uh, sophisticated enough and detailed enough to sort of push this chair making in a direction that uh, it hadn't it hadn't yet gone and uh, as we were working on the the text that she left for the third edition one of her driving principles in that text is I want this book to be aimed at someone with no woodworking experience I want them to be able to pick up this book and follow these instructions and make this chair. And uh, so in the video I'm just showing you the way I do it now, uh, which is mostly what Alexander does with some differences here and there. <laughs> 